Hi, this is Derek Murphy from creativity.com. I've been making this slide deck for Google Slides um, that people can use for book promotion. So I'm going to show you pretty quickly uh, how to use it. It's kind of interesting. I've been looking for different ways to do graphic design work without Photoshop or without having any special software. So uh, Google Slides is one option. It's not perfect, but there are some interesting things you can do with it. So mostly you can just change the text however you want. There's lots of fonts and you can go down to more fonts and get any Google fonts. So there's quite a big range of different styles. Um, and then the rest of it's mostly pictures. So it's a little hard to get all the spacing and everything right. The button is just, you can go up here and add a shape and then you can fill the shape with a color. Um, you can have a line on the outside of it if you want. Mostly, I already have these set up. So you could just right click some of these I've used like my own book covers and some of these I've just used this graphic which is like a default book cover. Um, but if you right click on any graphic, you can go to replace image and then you can just use another book cover image. Um, I'll see if I have one handy in this folder. Uh, this is actually not one of my covers but it's what I have in this folder so I'll upload it. And so you just right click and replace as, and then your book cover will automatically be in exactly the right place. It's the same for <clears throat> all of these, which is why it's pretty cool because it looks like a 3D image, like a standing book or an iPad, um, but actually it's just your normal flat book cover or your ebook cover. So it's really easy to use and to update your own covers. And then you could change all the text, change the fonts, move things around. This is just one big background. Um, <clears throat> but some of these, like this one, for example, this wood at the bottom is one picture and the background is another picture. So I could change the background by going to replace image and choose any other landscape or background image. Um, for example, I don't think that's the same image. So it's pretty easy. There's the foreground, which is kind of the wood or the deck, and then there's a background, which is sky or whatever. Um, and then if you want to, like if the text doesn't stand out too well, I can click on this image, the background image, and I can change the brightness to make it darker. I can change the contrast. Um, and there's even transparency. So I could, for example, if I wanted to add a box behind some of my text, I could make the box semi-transparent, which looks pretty cool. I haven't done that yet. Or um, like it's doing right now, it's blending these two layers. <clears throat> I have that one that's the, um, one is the clouds that I kind of put too much contrast on. And the other is this star image. Anyway, but by adding some transparency, I can blend a couple layers together, which is actually really cool. I'm going to see if I can use Google Slides um, to actually make book covers, and we'll see how that goes. But for right now, I was just kind of playing around with <clears throat> all of these different book promotion graphics. These are really handy if you have like a free day or a 99 cent promotion day. Um, I actually think you should use less text most of the time. Like these look pretty good, but um, if you're doing Facebook ads or you're promoting something on Facebook, it's sometimes better just to have a picture. I might do something like um, very simple or even something like this where it's less text, it's really simple, you just focus on having a nice cover. It still looks really good and really clean. Um, most of these, I have a package of free templates that I'm sharing, so you can just, you have to go up here to let's say make a copy and you have to make a copy and save it in your own Google account and then you'll be able to edit it. In the beginning you can't just start editing but you have to make a copy and then save it in your, in your own um, and then you can just use any of these. You can um, swap different elements if you really like something in one of these slides. You can just, for example, I could copy any of these boxes or texts um, and just paste them into a new slide. 
So there's a lot of options here. The free slide has like 20 options and this um, more advanced premium slides I'm gonna put into my Epic book design. Um, it's kind of like a package of templates and formats and like everything you need to design and market your book. But I hope these are useful and I hope that you can use them. If so, you can link to them or uh, maybe write a blog post about them. If, if you like them and you wanna thank me, that would be awesome. Thanks, bye-bye.